<laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at that. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam of the Wall Twins and today it is another beautiful one here in Central Florida. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up the griddle once again for an amazing breakfast. Recently in the comments, people had mentioned, you know what, it would be a good idea if you cooked some breakfast. Since acquiring the griddle, I have used this thing literally every single day. Day. And I am happy once again to share with you one of my favorites that I like to cook So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the griddle and we're gonna get one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches going And I'm gonna walk you through that if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then stick around while I dig in I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one I'm the other one now I've been making this breakfast sandwich primarily actually of all things on the George Foreman grill. Now I have made this before on the griddle and I'm excited to do this now on the Blackstone. I really can't wait to dig in and try this on the Blackstone. This is gonna be really fun. But first I wanna get into some preparation, show you the things that I do in order to get this sandwich perfect before we make it. Now, this breakfast sandwich has become one of our family favorites for breakfast, but I wanna show you a few things. It is very simple. This is going to just require some bread, some eggs, sausage and cheese. Now we do need butter for the back sides of the bread. And today I'm excited because while bread shortages kind of happened for a little bit, we're, we were able to find the Sara Lee brioche bread. This is their artisan style brioche bread and I'm really happy that we got this. This adds just a little sweetness to this overall savory sandwich. So I'm gonna start prepping this and show you what's involved. So the first thing that I want to do is to prep my well, my eggs, so uh, three eggs. There they are, that one's trying to run away. I've got milk. This is about a quarter cup of milk right about there. I usually eyeball it and then I've got my salt and my pepper. So I'm gonna start by cracking my eggs, dumping those in, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got my three eggs in there, making sure I've got no shells. By the way, I used to be really bad at cracking eggs. Fortunately, my wife showed me the ropes and has taught me the better way so I don't break as many. In goes my in goes my milk. Little bit of salt. I just sprinkle a little bit in there. That's probably barely a teaspoon if that. And then salt or pepper rather, same thing, just about a teaspoon of that. I'm just going to whisk this here. Whisk that nice and good. Didn't need this big of a bowl, but it works so make sure that that is all ready to go so that is ready to prep and that's about all the prep other than buttering my bread so let's get on that i just went ahead and buttered that up really quickly so all i did is put a, a, a light layer of butter on each of these this is my lando lakes farmer owned butter with canola oil now i've got some american cheese again these are these american cheese slices that we love however we've also done these with the monterey kobe jack cheese now i'm keeping this simple today for my um, sausage i'm just using these fully cooked jimmy dean original pork sausages now the thing about these is all i really need to do these are frozen i'm just going to use the the griddle to warm those up and that's going to be the first thing i do let me get rid of my eggs there's my bread and let's go ahead and fire up the griddle I have been using up to four burners, but what I wanna do, I wanna make sure I've got a cooler surface today, so I'm going to leave the right side completely cool, and we're gonna cook primarily on the left-hand side. So let me go ahead and fire the two on the left up. I can hear that fire up. Now, once that's going, I wanna bring that down quite a bit. I want this to be a medium, closer to medium low right here, right between those lines there. This will get it warm enough, but I don't want it too hot so I don't overcook my eggs. All right, the grill is ready to go. I'm gonna zoom in here in just a second. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss on the sausage there to really start to break that up, get that warm. Eventually, I will actually be cutting that. We almost do like a butterfly cut on these, and I'll show you that in a little bit, because I don't want the pieces too thick when I make my sandwich. But this is warming up right now. I'm gonna throw some oil on there, and then we'll get these patties on there. I've just got my pork sausage here got uh, four of them they do stick together when they're frozen even though these have some oil i want to throw a, a light layer of oil down on there got to kind of break those apart just a little bit here there we go all right we're going to get those now i again i do have this on low heat so these will take a little bit longer again i'm not trying to cook these all i'm doing is warming these up thawing these um, on the griddle. All right, here in those sizzle a little bit. Again, I'm not cooking these. I just want these to get soft. They're already cooked. These are the pre-cooked sausages. 
Man, I love that. But I also want, these are gonna have just a little bit of grease, a little bit of oil that's gonna help with, with the cooking overall for the eggs specifically. Now I will lay a little bit of butter for the eggs, but just a little, because I don't want the eggs to, um, I don't want the butter to burn and turn everything black. Since I'm just trying to warm those up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the lid here for just a little bit. And again, for time purposes, I could just toss these into the microwave. Uh, really simple way to get those ready. Again, I'm just doing the whole experience out here on the griddle, so I'm gonna let those continue to griddle for just a little bit longer. Okay, these are starting to get soft here. Just want some bandy in them. I'm gonna toss these off to the side here in just a minute, so those continue to, to, to cook and get warmed up a little bit. Now I'm flipping them because I don't I don't want them to burn at all. I don't want any burn on these. So I did bring a knife. What I'm gonna do is eventually when those are ready and I'm ready to throw those on my sandwiches, that is a thick piece of sausage. Now I don't want to uh, be biting through that. I mean I could, but it's just so thick. So what I do is I do a butterfly cut, what would be considered a butterfly cut when those are ready. So those are starting to look really nice. Okay, so here's the deal. Those are still gonna warm up. I'm gonna toss these off to the side here to stay warm. So this side, what I find obviously when you're griddling, even though these two burners aren't on, this stays relatively warm. It's not hot. These aren't gonna continue to cook, but it'll keep the food there warm for sure. Now, like I said, I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter. So there's the butter. Get my eggs on there. So the eggs, whoop, eggs. I was not picking up on the draw. The one thing I was gonna say so far that I've appreciated about this, <laughs> see that escaping down the hatch there. One thing that I really appreciated about this so far is griddling eggs on, on the Blackstone is how quick and easy it is because how quickly it just seals and burns, and, or excuse me, cooks together. Now I was trying to do that quick because I've had the, the um, butter a little bit too long and it's blackened and so I haven't wanted that I want to make sure we get that so let's go ahead and get this get some of that out of there but look already my eggs are just about ready. those are perfect little scrambled eggs so let those cook just a little bit longer get my eggs off to the side so now we're gonna fill the sandwich you know the one thing I thought to myself don't let the eggs run and I was watching the bowl rather than the eggs and those just took off on me I forget I'm on a piece of cement that is actually slanted down um, one thing I do wish is that I could adjust that so if somebody's got a tip for adjusting that without shoving a book under there or whatever to help uh, level this a little bit more I really appreciate that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting our bread we're gonna build our sandwich right here on the griddle while we're cooking so I'm gonna delay just a little bit more oil I definitely don't want these to stick. Okay, and I'm gonna do these two sandwiches here. And I don't want these to burn, so I'm gonna build these rather quickly. In fact, let me, let me knock out one so I make sure I don't burn it. There's already butter on the back side. So as it's here, I'm just gonna build this real quick. Now my wife only likes a half piece. She doesn't like a ton of cheese on there. So I'm gonna do that. So as I cut the sausage, all I'm doing is like a simple butterfly cut. So I'm, it's, it's thin, I'm just cutting right in the middle of it. It's not gonna be perfect and it's gonna chunk off and that's okay, but what I'm doing is opening it so when we lay the sausage down on the sandwich, it covers more area. So as you can see, it just covers a little bit more of that area. I'll pull that up as soon as I get another one ready here. It's not the prettiest, but it will work. And I'm cutting, but I'm not cutting onto my blackstone surface. I don't want to cut on here and cause problems, scrapes and scratches on my blackstone. So once it gets close, I'm just moving it here, getting that fly cut open. One's thicker than the other. Like I said, that is a okay, but now my sausages are ready to go. How to pull that sandwich over, because although it's built and ready to go, so I'm getting it cooked a little bit here, because it cooks on the side here. Gonna get some eggs, put the eggs on. Perfect. And then I'm gonna get my other piece of bread. Now I've got butter there, so I don't wanna smash it down just yet. Now that the other side is slightly cooked, 
bring out the smasher, but this won't be used just yet. What I want to do is turn the sandwich first. So I'm gonna flip. Woo -hoo. That wasn't the prettiest flip, but it was it was all right. So now I want to make that kind of like a panini, like a pressed sandwich. So I'm gonna get some of this to spit out just a little bit. Get some of those juices going. All I want is that cheese to melt. Once the cheese is melted, I know the sandwich is good to go. I'm making sure. Good, we're not burning the other side. Turn this around. This was a little top heavy here. So I got some of the sausage poking out of the top there. That's okay. Save some of these eggs for the other one. Look it, make sure we're good to go. All right, that is just about perfect. I was worried these were gonna cook so fast I was gonna burn the bread. Have not done that. This is turning out exactly like I hoped. So we'll get this off to the side, we'll get the other one built, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Little oil now for this one too. Yeah, this oil is just racing to the back. Next time I'll make sure I level it just a little bit. So like I said, I like a little more cheese. So what I do is I put a cheese, a slice and a half on the top and the bottom. So when the bread is ready to go, I'll flip that and get that ready. I'm gonna get my, get my sausage on here. Boom and boom. Nice and simple. Now you can put any type, you can cut these sausages up. You can use little sausage links, whatever it is, just cut that up, get that right on there. Now let's get the eggs for my sandwich here. Build that nice and pretty. Some of those eggs don't wanna stay. And that's not okay. I need those eggs. I need my protein, got have my protein. Okay, so I set those the other cheese right here on the other side. So I'm just gonna flip that on there. Okay, so my sandwich is there, ready to go. I'm gonna take a peek here. Okay, so this one just is a little crispy. Okay, Whew, that is borderline burn. I don't mind the crispiness, that's okay. And again, I'm gonna watch the other side, make sure it doesn't burn. sandwich press there just trying to get that cheese nice and melted okay pull that off there so definitely cooked faster the second time that one's just about perfect <laughs> are you kidding me look at that do you see that? This is amazing. I am so happy with how this turned out. Now, it can look good, but does it taste good? Only one real way to find out. So this is my breakfast sandwich. We've got scrambled eggs, we've got cheese, and we've got sausage on this. I've made this with bacon. I've also made this with ham. And I gotta tell you, I couldn't tell you which I enjoy the most. Right now I got sausage on hand, and it's gonna be as good as any. But uh, cheers, I'll eat to that. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That is so good. The brioche bread gives it just a touch of sweetness that goes so well actually with the sausage, with those scrambled eggs. I could have heaped more, uh, more scrambled eggs on that. But look at the cheese melting off the back. This thing is so good, man. I'd go, I'd go pay bucks for this at a fast food restaurant. Heck, I'd go pay money for this at any restaurant. Well, there it is. That's my take on my favorite breakfast sandwich that we make all the time here. And it was my first time attempting it on the Blackstone. I've done it on the griddle before. Usually, like I said, the George Foreman grill. I don't mind coming out here and doing it this way. There's just something about being out here cooking 
and being able to fire up the griddle, get food for the family that I absolutely love. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. We're gonna try to throw more groceries on here and see what else we can come up with. More coming. Normally, there are two of us, freakishly identical twins that like to do food reviews, and actually, now we're getting into this cooking. I did help Brett season up his own griddle, so hopefully we'll be getting some of his take on some favorites. In fact, he's got a sandwich that he guarantees is the best I would ever have, so we might be building that together while keeping in different places. So make sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that or anything else upcoming. As always, we really appreciate your support and love that you guys are here with us. Thank you so much for being a part of this, and again, I hope this helped you figure out how to make a very simple sandwich on your Blackstone griddle. And with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. Normally, Brett and I, when we're together, we say all we do is twin, even when I'm single in, no matter what. And with that, we bid you adieu, and a don't forget to like and subscribe.